to try to explain the vision that IBM has for threat investigator on the Cloud Pack for Security, let me leverage in a comparison with the current implementation of Advisor, because the two of them have a lot of similarities. You have seen me showing that Advisor takes from the logs and the flows, all the IOCs in there, and then from a curator centric perspective, and this is only from Curator, that's a big difference between it and Cloud Pack for Security. Then it actually does things like giving you a priority based on the toxicity and the relevance of the IOCs in there, gives you what threats, what what of those, which of those IOCs are threats, and what's the relationship? That's very important with all the pieces of malware and who's behind these, uh, etc. What what is this known outside? Curator about this, which can save a lot of time. It also goes back into the system and performs deep searches that allows you to see who else has in been involved into things related with this uh, particular offense. And finally, it gives you the mappings with the MITRE attacks and techniques. Let's actually review some of that in an example. Here we have an offense that uh, is composed of uh, just uh, nine, was nine, nine events in here. And what advisor gives us is that priority saying that this is a big deal. It's unlikely that it will be a false positive. Uh, as you, it gives you the miter. And then graphically, I can show you the other pieces, which are basically those uh, Things are threats that has already been investigated and they are shown in red. Uh, I'd like to limit the information to this. So this is the stuff that is the IOCs that are involved in that particular offense. And, and it started uh, on the stuff on Jello, but you don't have like a chronological sequence of how things happen. The users, you know, you got all that all that data. And then the blue is those relationships. I mean, the, what I like to call the Facebook of the bad guys. What is related to what? what? How is it that we know that this organization, the PLA, might be behind this attack and there's a relationship between this, which is not on your offense, but other things. So, uh, again, I don't have much time to talk about all those, that, but there are videos that show that. And finally, it goes and perform a deep search in your system and indicate you whether well, other people, other offenses that have a relationship with this that is not obvious in that offense. So that is advisor. Let's get to the whiteboard and contrast the vision of threat investigation, threat, threat investigator with current advisor. Well, the first is that instead of working out of uh, from the offenses extracting logs and flows, Threat Investigator works with cases and from them it extracts the artifact that are part of that case. The other thing that is very important is that this is not just about what Curator does. It can get information from other sources that feed the CP4S. Now, instead of a priority, it will give you a score. Initially, that score will be more of a computation of some values, but it's expected that AI will be playing a bigger role around this. Second thing that it gives you, which is different, is an attack graph and it's a kind of a chronological order in which things are actually happening. Then in terms instead of the searches, the green stuff that advisor gives you, what threat investigator will yield is some sort of uh, rules, but the rules are called Sigma rules, and this is based on an open standard. Uh, let me 
briefly tell you what I have learned. I've been researching a bit about this. So, uh, sigma rules due to log files. The same thing or similar things that what you get on YAML rules due to files. So, on YAML rules, you can identify a piece of malware, a thread, or a component. And you can specify that identification on, on a YAML format. Uh, and also, in a similar way, the Open Snort specification allows you to define IPS rules. So the Sigma rules are kind of uh, capable of producing some searches that will give you findings. And the idea of uh, Sigma rule is an open standard. It should work not just with Curator, with anything else. And of course, it will all you give you MITRE attacks and techniques on everything that is discovered. Let's actually take a look at a preview of Threat Investigator. I almost forget to mention that AI will also play a role in terms of recommending specific tasks as part of the case management to be derived out of the information that the system finds. So, expect to see AI playing more roles around everything on Threat Investigator. But let's actually jump into, into what I have what I can show you from it today. Even though this demo series is being done on a version of CB4S 1.7, this Threat Investigator, even on this version, is has this disclaimer that it's a technology preview, so that it's not uh, ready. So let's dive into any one of these in in and in the first video of this series, uh, which I haven't recorded yet, but I will, you'll see that I go into the different components. This is one, let me actually go there. This is one of the components in CP4S, it's this piece over here. So the data that I have in here is not as rich as it can possibly be, but we can see some of the aspects of it. First, we see that score. Again, this is more of a computation right now, but it will be more on, a, on the AI side uh, later, based on the toxicity of the actual IOC is embedded in the artifacts. That's part of the case. There's a network graph, again, very terse in here, but you, you should see more components, some of them in red on the malicious stuff, etc. Of course, we got the MITRE's technique. Uh, this is standard. And these are the actual Sigma rules that fire, okay, based on that open source specification of, you know, bad things that can be uh, detected. And we can click on any one of these and see the details of it. And probably it's better if we click here and view to see the entire stick data description. And you can, you know, keep some data. Again, this, this uh, demo data that I have is not very rich, but you can see the type of findings. And, and, and this should be open and work with any system, not just, of course, not just QReader. And in this attack graph is that we can see from the MITRE perspective, notice that this is the nomenclature of the tactics on MITRE. We can actually see a sequential description of the actions that took place. And of course in MITRE what we will see is, you know, the all the tactics and what, what are actually the techniques that has been that have been detected. So I hope that this video gives you my take on what I see, what is IBM's vision on the threat investigator.
component of CP4S.